In this video, we're going to solve the equation, the square root of 3x minus 8 minus the square root of x equals 0. And with square roots, we found out we cannot, cannot, and this is a common error I'll see, square both sides to get 3x minus 8 minus x equals 0. That's wrong. Can't do that. Because when we square, we've got twice the product in the middle. It doesn't... we can't just square the two pieces. You cannot distribute squared through parentheses. So we need a different strategy, and so what we're going to do is if there's more than one square root in the problem, we are going to get the square roots alone, get one square root alone on the left side, and deal with that one. Another thing to be aware of is because we have square roots, we want to make sure we check this answer because we have even indexes in the original problem. First, though, we want to get a square root alone. The easiest one to get alone would be the 3x minus 8. We can get it alone by adding the square root of x to both sides. This gives us the square root of 3x minus 8 equals the square root of x. Now what we can do is we can, since we have the square root alone on the left side, we'll square both sides. The opposite of a second root is a second power. And that's nice on this problem because it leaves us with 3x minus 8 equals... On the other side, the square and square root undo each other, just x. And from here, it's a simple problem to solve. We quickly subtract 3x to get negative 8 equals negative 2x. And finally, divide by negative 2 to get x is equal to positive 4. Of course, before we say that's our final answer, before we're done, we want to be sure we check our answer by taking that positive 4 and plugging it in for both of these x's in the original problem. So checking it, we've got the square root of 3x, or 3 times 4, minus 8, minus the square root of x, or 4, and hopefully that will equal 0. Well, 3 times 4 is 12, so we have the square root of 12 minus 8, minus the square root of 4, hopefully that's 0. 12 minus 8, that comes out to be 4, minus the square root of 4, hopefully that's 0. Taking both square roots, we get 2 minus 2, and sure enough, 2 minus 2 is 0. Because it worked when we checked it, we know our answer is, in fact, a true, real solution to the original equation. We'll say the solution to this equation is x equals 4. To recap, to solve equations with several radicals, we get one radical alone, and then take care of that radical. When we're done with that, we'll solve whatever is left based on the problem. And as usual, whenever we have an even index in the original problem, be sure to check the answer.